Hey there, welcome back to my channel. In this video, if you see behind me now, I'll, I've built a few setups here to show you possibly different ways on how you can use trapdoors in Minecraft because they can help a lot when you're trying to build something. So, we can already start going through. And if we go to this first setup right here, this would be like maybe in your home and you have like a nice living room or dining room or some room that you might want to have your friends come over in Minecraft or something. You can have here in the back maybe some spruce trap doors. They add this nice texture with these lines. So you can have like a nice table here where you can place maybe a, a skull that you get from your playing Minecraft or a few flower pots or things that you would like to place across here. And it has this nice texture in the back. Now we also can add some seating because the staircase, most people just do stairs and just add signs. So let me show you. I see this quite often and I think personally like that's a good seat but like there's very little to sit on so I decided well, why not just have a spruce slab take two signs place them on the side like that and then as the backboard you can use a spruce trap door and that creates a seat that's also more easily to sit on so there's more space for you to sit and then you also can get more close to this table. So that's a nice set seating setup. So if we move on to this next one, this would be in a more modern setup where maybe you want to have a table but built out of trapdoors. So let's just grab these trapdoors. I'll show you how to build it. So you just do this, do this. Make sure that there's like a block space in between. And then either you can come off of a back wall just do that or you can just shift click off of there but then keep in mind it will maybe the texture you want the texture somewhere else and then you come along maybe you want to put a flower pot there with the flower make sure when you want to put it on there you just you don't click because it will just do that but you just come along put there and then you have a nice table or stand with the flower pot and you get this nice thin look that you wouldn't normally get from slabs or regular blocks and then maybe you also want to have trapdoors just wrap around your build because it might help the design look. Or it curves inwards. You get this nice thin wall that you would normally not have if you used a full block. Now this would be more of an outdoor setting I've built here where this uses more of the acacia trapdoors but it doesn't matter what type just determines like the setting that you're trying to have so maybe you have this nice wheat field and normally you have these pockets of water that are really annoying to fall in so you can just put a trap door over it you can still see the water but it's like it has this nice effect and then maybe you want to have some storage crates so just have whatever it is like a barrel or a chest or in this case I have a hay bale and then just surround it with trap doors and it has more of this crate look now, if you're building up a custom tree, like I did over here, you might want to use trap doors of that type of wood to like give it extra like detail. So you see I built up the tree and I have these trap doors. They just give it that extra tiny detail that you normally wouldn't see if you didn't use them. Now if you come up here, there's this nice balcony area I built over the water. Now I've used, instead of fences to keep you in, trap doors, because I think these trap doors they have this nice fence look to them so you can really have a new type of design with it and then also down here with the trap doors you can create it it looks like these stems they're mounted into the ground and these really are emerged in the water so it gives it the feel that since the water the wood might slip around so the trap doors really make it look like it's more mounted into the ground and sturdy so you can have this more sturdy foundation and look maybe you want to customize the regular trees because the floating blocks they don't really look organic you can maybe add trap doors to it on the undersides and top to make it look like they're connected a little bit on those connection points you can also have a trap door leading to a secret underground area super secret so if you come up, we can also maybe have, if you want to hold in water, as you can see, you can have trap doors and they can open up and let the water out. So that's very nice. 
And then over here, I just added some detail. Like, let's say there was some ooze in the ground, and then there is this trapdoor area holding it back, and it opened up and let the ooze now flow into this water, starting to slowly contaminate. Some just, like, things that don't actually have any meaning, but just for design. So, now let's go on to this next part over here. So, for this next part, we have this nice wall here. So, let me just show you how it would look like without it. I'll just get these blocks. So, let's say you have your wall, and it's plain, doesn't have any design on it, and you just don't know what to add. It's just missing something. So, maybe you're like, hmm, I want some flowers in front. So, you build yourself some flowers, but you're like, hmm, that doesn't look right. Maybe you can use the trap doors to make it more look like a flower bed more like it's holding back the dirt and then you also can come I know this doesn't involve trapdoors but just some lighting on the side with the fence and the lantern on top I think that looks kind of cool and then but you now see it's like missing something on top so maybe you want to come on and create like a frame around the window where you come off with these trapdoors and then put up these fences making it look like it's being held up so I think that really completes this wall. So let's move on to the next one. So this next one over here, maybe you want to build your entire house out of trapdoors. So you can maybe make a thin bridge over some water using the trapdoors. You walk across to your pure trapdoor house, like this texture of the trapdoor. There's no block with this texture, so if you want this as your wall, you can make a house fully out of trapdoors and then you can have a nice interior and the wall is relatively thin so let's say oh but there's no windows well now there is there's a temporary window in fact your entire house is a temporary window which can be closed so it's kind of fun I did build one of these houses in my own survival world so they're actually kinda of cool using the spruce trapdoors that looks kinda of nice but the, using trapdoors as walls, that's also, like, pretty good. It might help you get that texture that you might have not had before. Now let's come to this next part house over here. It's more of like a hobbit or, like, some house that's kind of, like, run down or a little bit. But, like, this is the house. And maybe you can add trapdoors, like, to the top of this. You have the trapdoors. The chimney comes up and you have the trapdoor on the top gives it the extra chimney detail or trap doors in the ceiling which really like make it look more rugged and if we come over here to the front we see we can use these jungle trap doors because they have more of this circular shape inside of them so we can use those as windows and these other trap doors like I was saying earlier with the supports makes it look like these this frame wood is more supported then over here with barrels, I think barrels by themselves, they look fine, but I think they're missing something. What you could do is just place a spruce trap door on top. It makes it look like it has a lid, and maybe just put one next to it. It adds an extra detail. Like over here, I have this barrel with a trap door, and then just one on the side, and I think it really completes this area. I'll just walk around so you can see, like, I have this window over here again. Use trap doors as design. I have a lot of staircases and different wood sat textures in the walls, but the trapdoors really help out to like give these extra outer bumps into it, if you see what I mean. These extra like textures that you would normally wouldn't get because these blocks are kind of plain. And then if you add this nice circular window in between, instead of just using a glass pane, you have this nice trapdoor. It has more of a circular and homey feel. And if you come over here, again, we have the barrel with the trap door, one on the side, I think it adds it this extra detail. Lowered ceiling where this window is just barely peeking out. And then over here we have like some more trap doors. Another window. As you can see it's not the full window so it's only like the top part which is the window. But I think that still gives it that nice design. And then over here, like I was saying earlier, you can use trap doors as the back wall. So the back wall is made out of trapdoors. Not only one, though. You see there's the second trapdoor there, but that acts as a window. And then in front, I just place a bunch of blocks. So trapdoors can really give your walls nice designing. 
And then also your roof, you might not want a very harsh decrease. So you can have a soft slant where you have two regular slabs, two trap doors, and then your slab again. So it gives this nice calming decrease in the roof. If we go inside, I did do an interior for this one. You can walk inside. Now, here the flooring it has this nice flooring. Maybe you want to add a little bit more texture in the flooring by adding spruce slabs and then also trap doors. In this case, I use spruce trap doors. It adds more of this, like, more rugged texture, not all the same. It's more different patches. So I think that adds a nice floor design. Again, here I use trap doors, but mainly it looks like it's a support that holds up the top, maybe. Again, with the seat, instead of using the staircase, we can use that nice trap door in the back and then our slab and sign. Maybe you want to come along, have a bed in the ground. with, And then over here, normally your crafting table just sits like that, but maybe adding a, a trap door on top gives it that extra detail. Maybe fits it in the scene better. Then you have these nice trapdoor windows you can look out of. You can open the windows. So you couldn't do that with the glass. The glass would just be there. And you wouldn't be able to open it. Maybe there's a mob outside. You can take your bow and fire at it. Or you can close up your windows. And they still let in the light. So it's not like they're prohibiting anything. But I think this really adds a nice design to the entire build. And in the ceiling, maybe you don't want... So you see here, it goes right away up. Maybe you just want a nice, subtle increase in the ceiling roof, where you can just place a trap door. They're a little bit thinner than the slabs, so they help out get that extra little detail that goes up, but not that harsh, big step. So, I hope these trap door designs helped you, where you can use trap doors in multiple different ways. And... If you guys want me to give a specific tutorial on how to build one of these builds that you saw here, or like the genre of this type of builds, just comment in the comment section below and I'll try to make a video about how to build those, an in-depth tutorial about it. But that'll be all for today. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you next time.